you know, we never worry too much about preseason rankings. Uh, you know, we got a long season to play, and, and our focus right now is really getting to camp, getting better every day that we practice in camp, and then preparing for the for the opener on the 31st. Coach Gino, looking at the schedule, it almost feel like they're back in the SEC. I mean, opening against Kentucky and against Tennessee. Just talk about going against familiar teams right off the bat. Yeah, it's exciting for our players. There, there is no question about that. And, and to be able to take the off season and, and work all – all uh, for the opener against Kentucky is something our players are excited about. It's something I feel is a real motivating factor. You know, they're they're out there running right now. It's probably 100 degrees and hot, and you know you have to have really something to motivate you and look forward to. And and certainly that's a great great opener. Is something that I've done before, um, and it, it really helps you in the off season. Right. Yeah, this is our, our one and only year in the Sun Belt. And, you know, that that's our goal is to, to win the conference. That's something that uh, we feel like as we build this program, we want to go to a bowl game every year and win the bowl game and then, you know, be conference champions. And um, we got a great challenge ahead of us. There's some really good football teams in our conference and some really good coaches. So it'll be exciting to see how it all plays out. Yeah, you know, we're we're we've seen the the spread offense a lot, and it's something that's uh, you know has really taken off in college football and the tempo spread offense. And some spread offenses are designed to run the ball, some are, are designed to throw the ball, and you know you have to set your defense up um, to be able to stop them. We also have a couple challenges on our schedule, and that we're going to face two wishbone teams. So we we spent some time in spring ball practicing and, and preparing for that, and we'll have to do that again in camp because you can't really play a wishbone team and just have three days of practice. So that that's something that's a huge challenge for us. How, how differently is that all the approach things in a conference like this as opposed to the SEC level, where you know they're, they're obviously the different in the count level versus the yeah, you don't you don't approach it any different at all. You know, my philosophy has always been, you know, you worry about getting better in practice each day. Uh, you worry about the process because winning football games is really the end result of doing everything else right. You know, how you prepare, how you get better, how you practice, how you come together as a team. Um, are you tough enough to win in the fourth quarter? So really what I worry about is, is the process and, and what we do each day in practice, and then I feel like winning takes care of itself. Do you anticipate that there will be as much pressure to, to win a Sun Belt or next year, you know, win or compete for a conference USA title as there is pressure in the SEC? Yeah, there's always pressure. You know, the pressure you put on yourself, the pressure you, you put on your players, and the pressure the players put on themselves, uh, pressure from the administration and the fans. and something that I've always enjoyed. I think that's one of the fun things about um, being a football coach and is having high expectations and putting pressure on yourself to, to uh, accomplish those expectations and, and getting your players to set high expectations and work as hard as they can to uh, you know, achieve. <laughs>